My name is Lindsay Daniels. I studied uh, sociology and international studies at the U and I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm a freelance photographer um, and I mostly do landscape and uh, adventure lifestyle type photography and I also am getting into documentary and photojournalism. I'm always taking photos whether it's with my cell phone or you know my main camera um, but I also love to be outdoors that's one of those things that I will always love. I love to rock climb, I love to backpack, um, getting into fly fishing and all that kind of stuff so it's a lot of fun and uh, I really enjoy it. And I'm working on a documentary project right now um, and the, the movie is called Stolen Innocence and it's about the sex trade and sex trafficking in India. Its rich heritage inspires people from around the world to visit. But there's a problem, a dark secret, unspoken, covered up and hidden from the world. Girls are disappearing from the streets. And so I've been able to go to India several times this past year and work on that project with the crew. Um, it's been quite an experience working with uh, the girls that I've been able to work with um, who have tragically been trafficked into uh, such a horrible occupation. I'm super passionate about women's issues and um, how we, what we can do to help that. The first trip to India to uh, film for the documentary um, Stolen Innocence, towards the end of that trip we were in Delhi um, when the earthquake in Kathmandu hit in Nepal. We were on the first plane the next day going to Nepal and seeing what we could do to help. Um, and we were able to document everything that we, were, that we were able to see and everything that was happening in front of us. Um, it was quite an experience to see just the devastation and the destruction and uh, seeing how resilient and strong the people of Nepal are. And to be able to be a part of that, that I mean, it's, it's really affected me because I've been able to see a bigger picture of what goes on during those type of disasters. Um, while we were in Nepal covering the earthquake, we were able to create a documentary. Um, uh, and we called it Nepal Rises. That's basically what the whole humanitarian effort that we were able to um, create was called. And that was with Effect.org and um, some local Nepali. You can actually watch the documentary on uh, our website and uh, it's free to watch. The last trip I was able to go to India, um, I was supposed to just be editing and helping with that because we had pretty much finished up the project but we were still waiting on our main story. and. Um, we were able to rescue four girls um, the first day and then one girl the next day um, all in these different raids um, going in through the brothels. Just to be able to see that and be a part of that was such an amazing experience. It's blessed me more than, than I think I've uh, helped them at all and I feel very, very grateful for that experience and to be a part of that.